Hey, mom. <laughs> oh, wow. Guys, we've come to Vista Village. It took about two hours. If I knew it was going to take this long, I wouldn't have come. Tiring, especially in the heat. It's one of the hottest days of the year in London. And I'm also on a no bend scenario right now. So I don't know what I'm doing here. But Sina forced me. So if I buy anything, I'm going to buy it on her card because her card is in my wallet. So guys, we are sat outside prep. I got a baguette to share with Sina and I ate it all. So Sina's going to buy her own baguette. And Banksy is currently enjoying his snack. He's become such a fussy eater because my dad made me feed him like home cooked meals um, specifically for him. Now that my dad is not here, I think he doesn't like my mom's cooking of the same food. And it's really frustrating to me. But today he's eating a little bit. So I feel like a parent when it comes to having a dog, honestly. But I'm lucky that Banks is very well behaved and very friendly. Um, genuinely, really recommend Pomeranians as a breed. Also, this village is quite nice and colourful. And the weather's quite perfect at this hour. So I'm glad that we're here. I'll show you if I find anything nice. What did you eat? <laughs> Poor mummy's still eating. <laughs> okay, what are you buying? I, I said whatever I have. I want to go to Lulu Le Mans. It's just over there. I know, I went inside but I came back out. Um. Not too sure about this one from Lulu Lemon. I'm going to try a different top to see if I'm going to She's going to my cousin's wedding in LA next week, so she's trying to find something to wear and had a personal shopping appointment and she can't find anything, so she's struggling. <laughs> we need a lunch break because I'm hungry. Just picked up the Fi lip liner in talk. I usually use Vaughn, but they don't have any in stock. So I actually have Selfridges free like next day delivery, so I'll check online to see if they have a and get it delivered. I also should mention, the reason why I'm not going to LA for my cousin's wedding is because my visa appointment has come the day before her wedding. So sad. Um, the waiting time for a visa appointment is literally six to seven months. How mental. So, Sina's so asking that girl where she can lash her out. She's so mad. Anyway, I'm gonna get these and then we're gonna go eat. You're such a pillar of health. Tell everyone what did you order? I ordered there. there. Yeah. But with what? Truffles. No. And what else? And salad. <laughs> She's. <I'm enjoying> it. <laughs> I just want to put it out there that she is being 150% honest here when she says that she orders a salad because she's on a diet. You guys, I'm hungry and I'm so tired. I feel so sleepy. I don't know why. I'm thinking oh, I'm like. I'm gonna have a coffee for dessert. Yeah. Oh, How's your diet, ma'am? So this is where the burger is. <laughs> the salad I've taken over. Because I'm full of the pasta. I feel like the pasta's really rich. You can't eat the whole thing. I feel like someone's drunk and I'm gonna fall asleep. What? Do you want to get a latte? Yeah. Let's get some lattes. I have my And I have my dinner. I I swear, last night I didn't have dinner. Today morning, then I made some. I like, honestly, got like two sticks. 
<laughs> and they said to me, boy, you are going to bed in. They look after my diet, but I said one night, I didn't eat meat, and they asked her, like, dry stick. <laughs> and today, I'm having this, my food, Turkish food, the rest of the sign food. This is your own side salad, mum. You ordered you ordered salad instead of chips, don't you remember? Yeah, because she's trying to she doesn't want to put on weight. Slender, by the way, you don't need to be on a diet. No. You have a very nice figure. Just one night, I did an and I come like this. <laughs> it is Wednesday night, Sol is coming over for dinner, and I'm making her and I some chicken ramen. I'm using the Wagamama chicken ramen kit, which, to be honest, isn't that impressive. This is all the noodles that you get with it, which looks like how much I would eat by myself. So we'll see. Um, a chili oil that you get for free when you make a delivery order. So again, not impressed. And some sesame seeds and a chicken broth. I feel like the other like red packet ramen are way better. But anyway, we'll see because I need to try it first. I'm making chicken ramen, I'm making bao buns, and I'm making chicken gyoza. But I'm using these chicken gyozas. Guys, they are so easy to make. I love it. I feel like I can cook, but I can cook stuff that's like 90% there, and I just have to put in the last 10% of effort. Um, but hey ho, um, a win is a win. A win is a win. So I'm making something for us, and then we're going to the cinema to watch My Big Fat Greek Wedding number three. I love that film so much. I can't even tell you the number, like the first one. Just makes me die of laughter. It's like we used to call Sol Tula the banter, um, which now I realise was a bit like mean because her character got bullied a lot in the start of that. But we used to watch it like every single summer, and I used to watch it every night, every summer. I used to watch that, and I used to watch Wild Child. Something about me is I'm a creature of habit. If I love a TV show or I love like a show or a movie, I will watch it over and over again. Like I watched every episode of Gossip Girl like at least seven times. I watched every episode of Modern Family at least like eight or nine times, maybe even ten. I've watched every every episode of Friends at least forty times, but I haven't watched it like in ages. So with Friends, it's quite nice because I will go back and I won't know the words off by heart, whereas before I literally used to know the words off by heart. Um, so yeah, that's what we're up to. I'm really excited. She's gonna be here in like five minutes So I just need to do like the last minute preparation set the table and then we can eat and I'm gonna make a sauce for the bao buns I'm gonna make it with uh, soy sauce a little bit of teriyaki sauce some honey and A little bit of vinegar and a little bit of oil fingers crossed it'll taste good Vlog, how are you? How are things? Vlogs miss you. I miss you, vlog. <laughs> Guys, I'm so, I just got home. Seppi's made food, looks delish. Last night I came round to see Seppi quickly. And I was okay. like, so she'd made some food, I had some. And I ended up taking the rest of it home. It was so delish. Like, Seppi's cooking is so on point at the minute. And here is our dinner. Beautiful. 
we should eat before it gets cold. Wow, Seppi, this is so lovely. I'm so happy. <laughs> Ooh. It's all in her robe, though. The ramen is ramening because it's got vegetable broth that I made fresh along with the Wagamama's chicken broth. Not to boast, but I like my own cooking. Guys, you know that one friend who always has a messy car? That is Sol. Like, I don't even know what's it's under true. my feet now. But <laughs> Sol always has a messy car. And I don't even know what this blanket is that she's calling what a coat. This is a duvet. Oh, but it's leather. I paid 507 pounds for this. You're right, bro. What's wrong with it? This is honestly not attractive but it's so nice of I, you, you know, know what morning, i have duvet coats well. yeah i have duvet coats where i'm like you know what that's so nice and warm how british of me but given that london is pissing it down right now yeah it's um, true. i don't blame you for wearing but also duvet you know in the mornings coat. when you're going to work and it's cold and you're like oh I want to take, I want to take my blanket with me, I want to be in my duvet. So you've literally done that? Yeah. <laughs> it's literally for my going to work in the morning. Guys, the food I made it was so good. good. Oh. That chicken ramen, I think it was to do with the way I marinated my chicken. I didn't show you guys how I marinated my chicken, but my chicken marinade for most things stays the same. Um, I add a little bit of oil, salt, pepper, um, cayenne pepper, black pepper, uh, onion granules, uh, zag chubecchia, turmeric, and uh, a bit of teriyaki sauce, a bit of soya sauce, and saffron. no, I didn't add saffron today, but oh. sometimes I do add saffron, and I think that was it. Oh, and aromats. What's aromat? It's really good. It's like a seasoning. I was listening to a Stephen Bartlett podcast. lady he was interviewed was a psychologist mm -hmm. and she was saying how it's been proven that when people sleep with someone they've not slept with previously men produce three times more sperm and in women their cervix changes shape the like it just yeah i think it was their cervix changes shapes to accept more so you're more likely to get pregnant so you're more likely to get pregnant so she tells her and it's the novelty and it's because as human beings as yeah animals, it's, it's we create can, vari genetic variation that's it so when she tells her patients who have fertility issues go book a hotel and have like relations with your partner in a different setting like don't talk to each other like role play and it works for them and <laughs> she was like it literally works oh my god that's yeah. amazing is this research back Pardon? yeah well it was she audited it through her patients it was in the new Stephen Bartlett <laughs> but like it's about feeding the mind yeah more than anything I everything really is about feeding the mind isn't it motivation in general in life yeah anyway we're gonna go watch my big fat greek wedding Yeehaw! number three <laughs> i don't know why i did a cowboy thing <laughs> why did you do a cowboy thing? i don't know just so that you guys can properly see that she's walking around in a leather duvet <laughs> When it comes to ads, the ASA. Well, that way, you see the duvet as a duvet in the cinema. <laughs> 
London's pouring. Guys, this is not milk for my Persian friends. This is a crate of dual, aka yogurt drink. Um, it's called lassi in Indian culture. It's called iron in Turkish culture. Leban. Leban in Arabic culture. And it's mine and Saul's favorite drink. So she's bought a whole crate. And it is wild. The rain is wild. Guys, it's crazy. I can't see anything. Drive by slow, Saul. That movie was so good. We laughed so much watching it. It was honestly worth the watch. I would recommend going to the cinema. I feel like because Iranian culture is so similar to Greek culture, I don't know if anyone else can relate to Greek culture, um, but yeah, I just found so much of that relatable. And I laughed so much. Then we came home and watched No Hard Feelings, the one with Jennifer Lawrence. I think this is like a really big thing to say, but I think No Hard Feelings is my favorite all-time comedy. Like, the funniest thing I've ever watched. It was so good. So, I've had an evening of laughs. I'm really tired now. I'm gonna go to bed. But, I did book Nobu Pilates for the morning. So, I'm gonna be a productive girl. I'm gonna take my laptop and I'm gonna work in the city afterwards and get some stuff done that I need to do after my workout. So, I'll see you in the morning. So I just finished my Pilates class at Nobu and oh my god, I was so mad at myself because there was a lot of traffic and I took a route that was even more trafficy, and I was just stressing in different scenarios in my head of how I wasn't going to make it to this class or there wouldn't be parking or etc and I was just so mad at myself because I was like you need to give in to the art of surrender like whatever's meant to happen will happen you woke up like you made an effort you booked this class in advance whatever happens will happen and obviously I came I made it just on time like the class had started three minutes before they were really kind to let me in because I think there's like a limit like five minutes late and you won't get in um loads of people have already responded to my story where I posted that I was here saying what I thought of the class I went to Thursday morning 10 sorry 9 30 a.m class which is meant to be for all levels I loved it. First of all, the equipment that they have there is like no other Pilates studio that I've been to. So when I first started doing Pilates, I think it was like five or six years ago, my friends Annabelle and Senior introduced me to it and they would go to Hardcore in Hampstead. And Hardcore's got very good reformers, but it doesn't really have any extra gadgets. And then my gym that I go to has a reformers studio where you pay extra for the reformer classes, but it's like only 10 pounds per class. Whereas like a normal Pilates class outside is like 30 pounds. So it's kind of subsidized by your gym membership. Their reformer I would say is um, the worst in terms of machines, but they have like a couple of instructors who are so good, like really push you. So it's really good. This class was £37. Um, bear in mind, I had to pay congestion, which is another £15, um, unless you live in the area or you don't drive, factor that in as well. And then another £6 for parking. So overall, this lesson cost me like £55, um, which is a lot of money. Do I think it was worth it? Yes but not if it was something that I was going to do all the time. I think £37 for one lesson is a lot. They do a package where it's, um, I think, 10 sessions for 330 I think that works out better, and if I lived in the area, it would make a lot more sense. But where I don't live in central London, for me, it's not worth all the additional costs that you must go through but for a one or four like once a month or something i would definitely make the efforts come because they have really cool equipments like they have um this like trampoline at the end of the pilates machine which is really fun it feels like a trampolining but whilst lying down and then they have like this other step up chair thing which basically meant that at the start of the lesson we incorpor incorporated bar 
is that what it's called or ballet basically like ballet but it was really 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 nicely done and yeah I really enjoyed the whole lesson like I said if I lived in the area and I didn't have a gym membership that I pay so much for every month that I could use reformer tennis etc and I just wanted to do one thing then I would consider doing this or just like once a month like a little fun thing to do and then have breakfast thereafter or something would be lovely um I was definitely too shy to sit alone and have my breakfast there but in hindsight I should have taken my bag and done that because it looked like a very nice environment like everyone like who everyone who works in the area seems to have met up there and was sitting and having breakfast so who knew that the Nobu Hotel was a fun place for breakfast so that's my review and let's go and grab a coffee and do some work Did you just say you're gonna wear your jacket on my vlog to look cool? <laughs> I am cool. <laughs> your hair's tucked in though. <laughs> Tani came to see me whilst I got some work done. It's all been productive. She's waiting for the coffee queue to calm down. Calm down. <laughs> the queue, you guys. <laughs> Someone asked me something about you the other day in one of the vlogs. Thanks to my pen. <laughs> Ugly ass pen. <laughs> this is honestly, when I said a pen, like not something that will damage my bag as well. Like if I put this uh, in my bag, or I don't have it. Is. <laughs> Someone asked me something about you in one of my vlogs. I can't remember what it was, but I answered it. Yeah, I think my it was. Heart yeah. 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 <laughs> so I've actually done some shopping, and we have a Laura piano box here and an Hermes box here and my bank account crying somewhere um, but I'm gonna film an unboxing for you guys I'm basically just gonna unbox them and then I'll talk about them because I'm filming it for my TikTok too have a quick guess of what you think I've bought and I don't even know if I like the what's in the orange bag so we'll find out together you're just a black jacket, untied shoes came to the party, ready to lose no swagger, no design, anxious thoughts stick in your mind. You're just a lost puppy, sad face in the crowd. Your head kind of hurts because the song's too loud. Looking for direction or at least a sign on how to get home in record time. I'm just a pretty girl with an ugly smirk. You convince yourself that it's one of my quirks again. Too high, I'm keeping shoes. Somehow I'm perfect music. Just convince that I'm the one, or at least until the night is done. Take me home, show me your vinyl. Ugh. So here we have my Hermes her bag. The reason why I haven't taken any of this off is because I'm still not sure if I want to keep her. She's a 39, which is really quite big. So I'm not sure, but I do love it. It's got this like zip on the back, the zip flap that's like integrated in. I just feel like it could be quite a nice work bag, but then again, it's not that safe to take bags like this to hospital. It's like a canvas material, so it will get dirty really easily, like a cloth material. Um, so I have to think about it. I'm gonna like call my sister, cause she's in LA, and ask her what she thinks and get her advice. I also got a pair of the Laura Piana Summer Walk. They're so notoriously hard to get and it's because Laura Piana is trying to stop people from just buying their shoes. They are like a clothing brand as well. So they only really offer the shoes to people who buy clothes from them too. So if you're wondering why it's been so hard to get a hold of. Um, all my friends told me to size down. I'm between the three and a half and a four, but these fit pretty perfect and they are a size four. These are the Summer Charm Walks and they're like in this gorgeous chestnutty brown color, which I think is perfect for the fall except obviously the material isn't that good for if it rains so i'd need to make sure it's like a dry day if i wear them but they feel quite comfortable i've just tried them on now as well so um yeah i love these i like these a lot i'll be keeping them for the bag i need to think about tell me in the comments because when this goes up i'll still have time to make a decision shopping done now i'm going to make myself some lunch because i'm starving I've made myself salmon for lunch. I've made myself sea bass for lunch. I just said salmon, but obviously I meant sea bass. Looks yummy. And I'm super healthy. And it's a giant portion because I'm very, very hungry. Um, only thing is I don't have any lemon, which is making me sad. But we'll do without. We'll fare without. 
We're making enchiladas. I was craving these last week, but I made myself snacks of rice cakes with, why have I put you guys so low down? I don't know. But I made myself snacks of rice cakes with peanut butter and banana, and I had two of those. And I also had one of these, which was so yum. Had one of these, which was so yum. So I'm actually quite full, but it's 7.30 and I'm going to a ball tonight. I'm going to a charity gala at Annabelle's. It's a private members club that's hosting its annual rainforest gala. Um, basically it like has a charity that helps to protect and plant trees and protect the rainforest. And I think it's quite a beautiful cause. And not only is it beautiful cause but it's a lovely excuse to be around friends and get dressed up for the evening we the evening attire is black tie and a favorite DJ of mine who made who who I've seen in Mykonos performing a few times is playing tonight so I'm going with my friends Tali and Tara I'll show you guys but yeah it's 7 30 and we're meeting there at around 10 so if I don't make dinner now and then go and get ready then I'm not gonna have time to eat. So maybe I'll make this. I need to like cook my chicken as well. This is the chicken that I made for the ramen. I just kept the rest of it marinated. So I'm just gonna dice this up and fry it with some mushrooms and put in the enchilada mix stuff. I have the chicken ready. And then I'll make tor like the tortilla stuff and put it in the oven. I don't know, you guys will see the end result because where I'm on a tight crunch, I can't record me cooking it all but you guys will see me afterwards after when I'm eating it and then at the ball so hey ho copyrighted from who made who <laughs> which is where we're going tonight yes basically the venue we're going to is like right behind tara but we don't want to film 20, it because we want to do it her liam is 21st oh no but it's from no, no did you just move the cones so that you can uh park here no. we love your outfit that's what we're doing really we're doing an outfit check outfit check it's house of cb beautiful beautiful Talia, outfit way prettier without yeah. the blazer. No, Someone do my outfit check, please. Oh, sorry, my hands. Uh, I will uh, slash your tires. Okay, Barbie girl. So guys, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I know it's been quite a lengthy one. I know I've just done some shopping at Zara and Mango. So I don't know if I should include that in my next vlog or if I should film a separate video I think I'll probably film a separate video but let me know either way I will love to hear what you guys would rather see and I will see you next time bye